In 1977, two small spacecraft left Earth, built from aluminum, gold, and human curiosity. Their names were Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They've traveled farther than anything we've ever made, across the orbits of giants, through storms, radiation, and cosmic dust. But along the way, they uncovered things no one expected, from worlds that erupt with fire, to planets wrapped in magnetic chaos, to the invisible edge where the sun itself ends. These discoveries changed how we see our solar system forever. Here are the five strangest discoveries ever made by the Voyager probes. But remember, they're still out there, and their journey isn't over yet. In March of 1979, Voyager 1 reached the giant world of Jupiter, the first close encounter of its kind. As it approached, its instruments began to detect something strange, waves of charged particles rippling through the emptiness, as if the planet itself were breathing. Deep inside Jupiter's magnetic field, invisible storms of plasma rage, vast rivers of ionized gas, twisting and snapping around the planet faster than sound. When NASA later converted those plasma waves into audible frequencies, what they heard was haunting, a chorus of howls, crackles, and rhythmic pulses echoing through space. These weren't man-made signals. They were the raw vibrations of Jupiter's magnetosphere, a living electric ocean surrounding the largest planet in the solar system. To hear it was to realize that even in the vacuum of space, the universe itself still sings. When Voyager 1 reached Saturn in 1980, it turned its cameras toward a moon that glowed like a dim amber light. That moon was Titan, the only world besides Earth known to have a dense atmosphere. But as Voyager approached, its view vanished. The surface was completely hidden behind a thick orange haze, a smog of nitrogen and methane so dense that even sunlight couldn't reach the ground. Voyager's instruments showed surface pressure greater than Earth's and temperatures hundreds of degrees below freezing. Whatever lay beneath that haze remained invisible, a world sealed away, waiting to be explored. It would take more than 25 years before another spacecraft, Cassini, would finally peer through the clouds and confirm what Voyager had first revealed. Titan is not a barren rock, but a world with rain, rivers, and seas of liquid methane. When Voyager 2 arrived at Saturn in August 1981, its cameras captured one of the most mesmerizing sights in the solar system, the planet's rings. From Earth, they looked smooth, almost solid, but Voyager's close-ups told a different story. The rings were alive, Vast bands of ice and rock, twisting and braiding like waves in a cosmic ocean. Tiny moons hidden within them carved ripples and resonances, sculpting patterns that moved with mathematical precision. Some rings appeared split, others woven together, so delicate that a single collision could reshape them. Voyager revealed that Saturn's rings aren't just debris. They're a living, dynamic system still changing after billions of years. In January 1986, Voyager 2 reached Uranus, the most distant planet ever visited by a spacecraft. What it found was unlike anything scientists expected. Uranus spins on its side, tilted more than 90 degrees. It practically rolls around the sun like a barrel, but its magnetic field was even stranger. It didn't pass through the planet's center. It was twisted, lopsided, and flipped with every rotation, a magnetic chaos no one could explain. And as Voyager 2 drifted past, it discovered five moons, Ariel, Miranda, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. Each one scarred, fractured, and frozen, like shattered worlds orbiting a turquoise giant. Voyager showed that even in the farthest reaches of the solar system, the cosmos is still full of surprises tilted, broken, and beautiful. In 2012, more than 18 billion kilometers from home, Voyager 1 crossed an invisible boundary, the edge of the sun's reach. Beyond that point lies the interstellar medium, a region of space untouched by the solar wind. As the probe moved through it, its instruments detected a sudden spike in charged particles. 
the moment Voyager left the heliosphere and entered the space between the stars. Out here, sunlight is a memory. Radio signals take more than 22 hours to reach Earth. Yet against all odds, that faint signal still arrives, a heartbeat from humanity's farthest explorer. Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any object in history, and still it moves, slowly, silently, into the endless dark. One day its power will fade, but its message will remain, a golden record drifting through eternity, proof that we were here.